the earth passes through this trail of particles we are treated to a breathtaking show often yielding up to 50 meteors per hour for those who seek them out in the dark of night these meteors travel at astonishing speeds of up to 41 miles per second creating bright streaks that seem to dance across the heavens the eta aquas i have seen around 200 I fred maybe no let's just say i know too much to be oblivious to remain unobsessed space is just trippy to think about the idea that we are on a rock floating around in a vast expanse of nothingness there's a lot out there in this seemingly empty void but we may never be able to witness all of it the universe is constantly drifting away from us every single second billions of stars escaping our grasp yet there are moments when we can catch brief glimpses of the cosmos i've been wanting to capture this for a while now timbers comet with an orbit so wide that we can view it only once every 83 years a blink of an eye in the universe's clock but for us that's an entire lifetime i'm not sure how long we can play the waiting game i haven't had a good night's sleep for weeks But that doesn't mean I can afford to miss it. It's something that slips away if you're not there at the right moment. So, wouldn't it be worth the wait? Sometimes the universe is a sick place. I'll probably never see the comet again. The wheels of time wait for no one. Space doesn't know or care about the lifespan of us humans. Hmm. That's the terrifying part. There's just too much out there. The vast expanse of space, the cosmos is simply too much for us to fathom all we can do is try to make the most of our narrow slice in the fabric of time